Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install PHP My Admin on an Nginx server. Now, you probably already know this, but PHP My Admin is simply a user interface on top of a MySQL database that you can access in a web browser. So, if that's something you're interested in learning how to do, let's take a look at the tutorial here. Um, I have a fresh Nginx server running at this IP address. And what we're going to do first is log in to that IP address via SSH. So let's go ahead and do that. And this is my first time connecting. So yes, let's continue. And when we're in here, um, the first thing we want to do is to do an apt get install PHP my admin. And that'll take up 53.6 megabytes of space. That's okay with me. And um, this is the part that might trip some people up. It only gives you two options to um, host your PHP My Admin database or to serve those pages, right? You can either do Apache or Lite HTTPD, but that's actually not the case. You can just tab over, skip over these. Uh, we don't wanna use either one of those and we'll just bypass that. We'll take care of that later. So continue, hit okay hit enter, and then uh, there's just a couple other configuration options it's gonna ask us about here. The first one is this one right here, the uh, default configuration, so we'll just say yes, that's fine. And then the password, I'll type that in for me. It's, and I'll confirm it. And the installation will finish down here. Um, okay, so right now we do have PHP My Admin installed, but it's not accessible uh, in a web browser yet because Nginx doesn't know about it, okay? That's why we're getting that error if we try to go to your IP address slash PHP My Admin. Um, so let's tell Nginx about it. We can do that by just creating a symbolic link um, from the the installation, one of the installation files to the uh, public HTML directory. So that's gonna be something that looks like this, sudo ln-s user share php my admin, php my admin, and then we're gonna um, just link that to var www html. So var www html is already accessible to the public at this point. So we're just gonna create a link, a subdirectory into there uh, for PHP My Admin. And now we can go back to our web browser, refresh the page, and we will see that PHP My Admin is loaded. Uh, the next thing we have to do is to log in. And by default, um, there, I mean, you could, I guess, configure it in a way where you can log in via root, because that's one of the only users that exists for MySQL for a fresh install. Um, but what we're going to do is just create a new MySQL user and use that user to log into PHPMI admin, because you're probably gonna, you're going to do that anyway with your database. So um, let's go open up a MySQL command prompt here, and I will use my cheat sheet over here. Uh, to paste in a few commands. So we're gonna create, and I missed the C and the R, so we have to come over here. Um, we're gonna create a user called Tony, and his password's gonna be password. So we'll execute that command, and and these are these are this is a MySQL user, okay, and uh, or a, a Maria database user, almost one and the same. And then we're gonna give him all privileges on all databases. Um, all tables, everything. So he's going to have, you know, ultimate access. And then finally, we will flush those privileges, which basically means to apply those privileges. So we'll get out of our um, MySQL command prompt back here, come back to our web browser and log in as Tony with password, password. And there we go. So we're in to PHP my admin user interface, the main dashboard here. You can see you can do a lot of different database actions up here at the top. And I'll just briefly go through this because this is not what this tutorial is about. You're pretty much done at this point. Um, and then over here you have your databases on the left hand side where you can expand them and see the individual tables. And then, you know, this one doesn't have any information in it. This one does. You can interact with the individual uh, rows and columns in the table. So, um, yeah, that's that's all you have to do to install PHP My Admin on your Nginx server. If you have any questions about doing so, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. 
And if you got some value out of this video, give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out and my channel. And something else that would help me out is if you subscribe, um, cause you know, I, I think um, it's a signal liking a video, commenting on a video and subscribing to uh, me is a signal to YouTube to promote this video to other people. So my goal with this whole website and my blog is to help people who want to make a new website um, online who aren't familiar with it and explain the process of doing so via video free tutorials like this one. So uh, please do that, show your support. Thank you guys for watching, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video.